Welcome to my weekly-ish news bulletin from the world of archaeology. Number one, unusual Bronze Age weapon found near the Var River. A long dagger dating to the Bronze Age has been found near the Var River in the Slovak Republic. Similar objects have been found before in the Danube in Germany and were created by the Tumulus culture. Known as a long dagger or a short sword, they are usually found in tombs but sometimes in rivers. It is possible that the object was part of the evolution in style from bronze daggers to metal swords, the latter appearing at the end of the early Bronze Age in Central Europe. Several other objects from the Bronze Age have been found near the Var River previously. Number two, research finds sophisticated farming techniques were used in Mesopotamia. A recent paper in Nature Science has found that Mesopotamians were growing millet before the advent of large-scale irrigation, thought to be necessary to maintain such a crop. They were also growing multiple crops in the same fields, depending on the season. Up until this study, many archaeologists had thought that some evidence for millet dating to 2500 BCE was due to the crop being imported or grown only in small batches. Besides the botanical evidence, texts from 1200 to 1100 BCE also mention the grain. The authors of the study suggest that multi-cropping helped drive agricultural developments in the region during the first millennium BCE. Number three, Bronze Age tubes found to be straws for drinking beer. In 1897, eight metal tubes, one meter in length, were excavated from a Kurgan, a burial ground in the northwestern Caucasus. Some of these had bull figurines attached to them. Up until now, researchers couldn't figure out what their purpose was. The tubes date to between 3700 and 2900 BCE and were created by the Mycop culture. They were amongst many other grave goods, including beads, semi-precious stones and pottery. Over the years since their discovery, archaeologists have suggested that the tubes were scepters or poles. However, a recent analysis of the residue inside one of the tubes found remnants of barley, cereal and pollen. This has led researchers to suggest a new theory for the role these tubes played in this Bronze Age society, that of communal drinking straws for beer. However, whether the residue is from fermented barley has yet to be confirmed. Scientists see similarities with drinking straws from Mesopotamia, although these date to 1,000 years later. The study has been published in the journal Antiquity and is titled Party Like a Sumerian, Reinterpreting the Scepters from the Mycop Kurgan. Link below. Number four, study reveals that sheep and goats were domesticated in central Anatolia. Sheep and goats are known to have been domesticated in Southwest Asia, but a recent study based on Asikli Hoyuk in central Anatolia has revealed localized processes. This supports the idea that domestication of caprines evolved in different places independently. Researchers found that from 8400 BCE, three different methods of caprine management took place that led to the gradual development of domesticated forms over 1000 years and a subsequent change in the division of human labor and the layout of settlements. The first method revolved around the seasonal capture of wild lamb and kids. The second was centered on reproduction along with hunting, and the third was the transition to large-scale herding. Number five, Bronze Age Horde goes on display at the Royal Albert Memorial Museum. The BBC reports that a treasure hoard discovered in 2017 has gone on display at the Royal Albert Memorial Museum in Exeter. It was found in the Dowlish Bog and rather unusually included both bronze and gold objects. The items, which included bracelets, ingots, nuggets and axes, had been purposefully broken or bent out of shape before being deposited in the bog. During the Bronze Age, objects were often broken before being deposited in water or buried, probably because they were offerings to a deity. Further analysis is to be conducted to find out the origin of the gold. Number six, archaeologists uncover Bronze Age settlement in Oman. An archaeological mission by the Department of Archaeology at Sultan Qaboos University and the University of Pisa has uncovered an early Bronze Age settlement in Rustak, South Batina. The discovery includes the remains of domestic buildings, burials, copper furnaces, clay utensils and pottery vessels, 
It is one of the largest settlements belonging to the Umm al nar culture found in the country and dates to the 3rd millennium BCE. Large round towers were also found. Excavations are ongoing and it could take several years to explore the site, which covers 70 hectares. That's it. If you enjoyed that, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Take a look at my other videos on the mysterious megalith builders. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter and my website provides information on the places I personally visit.